and now Roshi has gone up. So like. Yep, and that is all the time we have That's these we ads right now. That's, That's all the time we I have. I tried. <laughs> I be streamlining these ads. I got through all of them except for like one of them. It's okay. It's, it's a very impressive take, you know. You get it all in one. You get all the data. I'm used to. I always do the ads. But either way, I am here to commentate Dill versus Krin. So Krin again going with the Joker and Dill. Rob, you already know we're going on battlefield. Very easy stage for both these players. Yeah, and Krin was having a very tough time, kind of dealing with the down tilt, just getting trapped in the endless Dill cycle. And you see the down tilt pressure is just still continuing because that move is like minus two, so yeah. you can get away scot free with anything just mashing up on shield. Crane is quickly with the R send, but Dill is already on the chase, trying to do the work, but very scary situation at the ledge. Crane looking to end Dill right now, but the down air train is gonna be pushing Crin back to the ledge over here, and Dill is gonna be looking to snipe out a stock very quickly here. Absolutely, and Dill is doing an amazing job at kind of keeping away from a lot of jobbers. Wow, Hello? okay. I was gonna say all that, and then Dill proceeded to get caught by a lot of jobbers combos, and then killed by a tether grab. Who is this? I've never seen this guy! Krim was like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the game for a second. <laughs> Oops. I nah, forget what we were saying. Oh my god, That's John Wick? Saying. Like, I said all this, and then Krim was like, actually, I'm gonna do this instead. Yeah, seemingly... Dill just having a very phenomenal lead in the start of that mm -hmm. uh, first stock. And Krin just pulling one under the rug, getting in the damage. But not quite getting that damage with that Nair. Dill is going to be quickly taking that stock with the up smash. Absolutely. Now Jaro is still in hammer, setting up against a ledge and do it again so we can get a nice little... This, this is what I call the wall. Oh, no, yeah. You escape the wall? You escape the wall. But no, the wall is where Dill sets up that gyro and then continually down tilt two against it. So you rack up damage double time. It's so scary to be around. And unfortunately, Krin was just down aired for his troubles for getting complete, for getting hit by gyro so many times. All that work for Rob down air. Uh -oh. And now, You're fine. this is what uh, Joker makes quick work of against Rob at the ledge. You can kind of force Rob to burn all that gas with yep. gun and just set up for back airs. Krin just burning up so, so much so he can get the R sent online. The rotor arm combo not gonna quite take it over there. Krin had to have had a little more damage on the board. But right about now, if Dill tried it again, it would definitely work out. And Krin is doing his best to just get around that impenetrable wall. And find it through the maze, he does. Yeah, I was getting worried there for for, for Krin for a second, but thankfully the, the, the adaptability that he's able to show by at least mixing up his recovery options to not get one forest smash if he did roll in, and two hit by the gyro if he just stayed on the ledge, was impeccable for him as a player. Now, uh, can he get this? Run back? That's unfortunate. Not run back. That, that's he unfortunate. He, nope. he's, he's getting a run back he's already. Run, Game yeah, two, getting, baby. He definitely is, but he's not. He's dead. He's I'd gone. I'd expect nothing less of um the hero of Xeno. Or, yeah. The heroine of Xeno. The heroine of Xeno. I guess, yeah. Trying to defend it all from the attackers. Look at the school, bro. What's, uh, that makes no that's sense. That's so unfortunate. Rob just that, like contorts no. his body. Bro, He's that, like, you can't grab this base. That move low-key makes no sense. Like visually, how do you be scooped? You just get scooped. It's but like Lucy, it's like Lucina no. up smash, you know? You have like the little circles on the side and you just get scooped. And it's like, how do I get scooped when I'm like not near her? That's what I'm saying. Like, it, visually, it make a no sense. It make a no sense. There is no way that you can be scooped. However, you get scooped. Oh, we're gonna ban. We're banning PS2 and Hosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> we're not. We're not. Not Yo, Color torn bashing. a battle theme. Let's go. And we're going to small battlefield, which another another stage that Dill does pretty well on as Rob. However, I just eliminate that middle platform. Three, two, hmm. one, go. It, it it does things. Yeah. Certainly. I think it's Joker a little more leeway in the air, honestly. At least from our dry down combos and the little like triple up that we saw earlier. Yeah. That was funny. That was hilarious actually. And Corinne is trying to shake off the things of that from that last game, the work that Dill was just putting on in. Holding onto the Beyblade right now, letting it rip on the shield. Corinne is just hanging the back, letting the blade Beyblade just spin on in. Getting that damage up very slowly. Having really good safe pressure on shield with the gun from the back air. And Dill is just still trying to go for that rotor arm cheese to snipe at a stock, but Krim will not be folding. Mm -mm. I mean, she even changed the direction of it to try to cast Krim's uh, option back on stage, but that, that gyro, 
blends into the background. This is the most evil thing about her on this stage specifically. That's the second time Crit has been, has been caught with the Jarwin standing on platform right there. And Crit is kind of just catching on to Dill's rhythm right now. Going on high to try and mix things up. Trying to land against the Joker and stall out the Arsene. I am really liking this usage of the gas. The down airs just to stall. The Arsene is going to be going away. Actually, no! That's funny. Arsene just coming on up there and That's just funny. taking that stock by force. I, f I feel so bad for Kryn. I said this is the second time he, his, like, Arsene just gets st stalled out by somebody. But unfortunately for Dill, we, I always say that people really can't challenge her high recovery, but someone who can't is Joker with Arsene. His, high, his jump is higher. He has better options in the air anyway with Arsene out. It just sucks for her to, uh, to be so used to a, a mechanic she always does and not be able to do it. So, good on Kryn for actually recognizing that he can actually snipe her back into a blast zone where she wants to be so so badly. And Kryn starting his assault on the stock, and Dill just trying to wall out with the Nairs, trying to wall out with the Bears, getting on that damage, letting the top rip right up in Kryn's face. And Kryn is still just whipping out that gun, getting in that damage. There we go, we got the throw, just tossing her back in the corner, continuing the assault, and trying to fall up off the air dodge. But Dill is just going to be escaping out of that situation and is forced to be playing on the defensive right now. And yeah, no, Kryn actually using the gyro against her as much as he can. And finally, Dill getting a really good opening. Now we have Arsene out in order to save the day for Kryn. A little bit of damage from the curse of Aha. Yeah, Kryn with and Arsene. Yeah. Very scary force to be reckoned with right now. We see Dill attempting to stall once again, and Kryn is just forced to watch and sit while he sees Dill just stalling right there off the stage, trying to burn out that Arsene, and Arsene will be going away this time. Yeah, no Dill, stocks will be taken. Dill, Dill was smart this time, whereas the first time she actually made it to the middle of the stage, and that's where she got clipped, she at least stayed in the ledge where even with the use of platform, Kryn could not catch her. Uh, the way that he was able to earlier. Now, Dill is more comfortable finding a more even matchup without Arsene to come in and mess everything up. Yeah, and I really like that gun to just stall himself in the air. to, Because, you know, Rob is definitely going to want that follow-up off the up air. He's definitely going to try something. And you cannot be there in that spot. I know you think that hitbox is really good. But Kryn is just scooping up with the back air. Up smash killing from like halfway across the that stage, forward, hello? No, that was forward, forward smash. smash. Sorry. Killing from halfway across the stage at like, what, 100 something? Yeah, 102. Dead. That is wild. That's funny. Bop. No DI. That happened. Wacky DI. Oh, and um, Dill is just doing the damage here. Kryn had no uh, jump on that platform. But things are looking scary. You know, when you're in the corner against Rob, mm. I always tense up because, like, is he going to bust out the rotor arms on me? Is he going to bust out that top? I said, yeah, the thing about, about Rob is, like, he, even though Rob is, like, big, funny, stays in combos for so long, he's unpredictable as a character. And even if you're a Joker with Arsene, you're comfortable, we're going to be wasting gas a little bit just to so pray out the Arsene a little bit longer. Be very careful coming down to the middle of the stage there, because now we have double jump and Arsene, and you are going to be kissing the blast zone. And there it is. And you're going to be kissing oh! that back air, but not quite, well, not quite dying off the back air. Dill is still in control of this game right now, going for the triple down tilt. Not really mixing it off the double down, so you know, something that Leo and That's other it. Robs love to do. Oh. The, oh, he had the survival DI unlocked uh, for that one. I think I know what happened. I think usually when, Do when Rob does up there, uh, you're, mix you're, you're basically mixing between both arms, but I think Krim was only on one arm and went all the way to the other side of the stage and left. Yeah. But this time, Dill had gotten him right in the middle of those arms, had him go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and straight up into Blast Summer. You cannot do nothing about that. You are at 135. You're dead. Bop, and Crane just kind of just landed with the Nair, just trying to thwart something. Mm -hmm. But it's really hard to challenge Rob when you're underneath him because you just have this big assault. Uh, <laughs> Bruh, he always hell. does this. He does. Oh my god. he's oh, He always gets in his bag after a loss. But then he's like, okay, I'll clean oh, it. Okay. I'll clean it. I'll clean it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a cute little moment. But it's okay. Uh, it, it's really, with with Rob up there, it's, it's difficult to deal with sometimes. Especially if you get caught in the moment where you're actually being rocked between both arms rather than just being hit by one arm at a time. Uh, it just sucks to deal with. But now we have numbers and boots.